What is going on everybody? This is Striker, welcoming you back to episode number 39 of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, guys. Now, I will let you know, this is actually the second time I have attempted to record this. Okay! We're to move out uh, to Mount Pyre, rather. Um, anyways, I tried to record this earlier, and unfortunately was hit with a, a streak of bad luck as the recording... It wasn't really the recording, my computer hiccuped, so when I was actually recording the video, it wasn't actually recording the video. I don't know, it, it's this whole, like, in-between state of I thought something was happening, but it wasn't. So anyways, guys, I went ahead and I went out and got some food, alright? I planned to actually cook today, but I forgot to lay out any meat, and I didn't want to defrost it in the microwave, because that's always just kind of gross. So I went out and got some Jimmy John's, so... Go get you some Jimmy John's. I love Jimmy John's. Their Italian nightclub with the hot peppers is... Mm, 10 out of 10. And I've also been drinking a glass of milk, and I have some pretty fantastic uh, sunflower seeds that I will be consuming in between recordings and playing of games this uh, this ensuing evening. But anyways, guys, how are you all doing? Let me know. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free. It'll help me out, it'll help the channel out, and it'll help the video out, guys. Also... We are headed towards Lily Cove. I do believe that's the name of the city. Lily Cove City for our seventh gym badge. I'm pretty sure it's Lily Cove. Uh, so we just need to keep heading over to the east, and we will get there actually pretty quickly. Now hopefully I will have some decent luck that I had the last time that I tried to actually record this episode, because we got Vibrava all the way up to like, level 44. It was just like, just barely 44. So I'm hoping we can have the same sort of luck. I didn't have to worry about anything when it came to uh, Vibrava in fighting, so, uh, you know, no fainting. We ran out of our moves, but it wasn't all that horrible. Alright, so that, that should be enough. This faint attack should be enough to knock him out. At least I'm hoping so. Um, if not, we do have the, the what is it? Mud shot, that's what it's called. Uh, okay, so we are good, so Vibrava is going to gain a thousand EXP off of that and Swampert up to level 40. Fantastic. So basically all I did when I went through here the first time is just go through here and battle out all of these people, beat the snot out of their Pokemon. Also, just so you guys know, this is the Safari Zone. Um, to the best of my knowledge, we actually don't need to do anything up in here, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it where it's at. You know, if, if we actually do need something, we can come up here. Um, welcome to the Safari Zone. $500. Nope. Okay. Well, I'll come back and play another time if I ever have the interest. Uh, this, we're not too concerned about catching Pokemon like we were in Fire Red, uh, because we needed a couple of items that, you know, you'd have to catch 50 Pokemon or 40 Pokemon or whatever to obtain, but in this game, you don't have that restriction. So, I mean, I'm good to just roll out with the team I've got brewing here. We're gonna have a Flygon, right, because Vibrava's gonna become Flygon, and then we're gonna have one last mystery Pokemon added to the team, and that's gonna be it. We're gonna be done. We're gonna be ready to go and fight the Elite Four, so... This'll be... This'll be good. I like it. It's a good adventure. Maybe we'll do some legendary business in here. Not too sure on that one, just because... I don't know. This is a story-based game, as is every other Pokemon game. I don't know. I, I just was never super in-depth with Emerald way back when I played it. So... I don't know. I just feel like you know, going through, beating the Elite Four, and saying, Alright, good job, guys. That's it. Handshake. And then, you know, that, that's it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll figure it out as we continue going on. There's nothing I love more than checking out other people's Pokemon. I want everybody to see the Pokemon I've raised. And I will see those Pokemon that you have raised, and I will also beat the snot out of those Pokemon. And take your lunch money! Alright, Pokemon breeders Miles and Pat would like to battle. Makuhita and Puchina are now out and ready to battle. So we've got Vibrava, we've got Swampert, Let's do this thing! Alright, so we are gonna do a crunch onto Makuhita, and that should be a one-hit shot, and then a Muddy Water onto the pair of them. So crunch, should be it. Bam! Oh no, just kidding, it does only half damage. This Muddy Water cleans them both up. At least I'm pretty sure it cleans them both up. There you go, there's the Makuhita down, and then the Puchina should go down as well. Yes, it does! Fantastic! Alright. Alright, it's 348 and 220, so we're looking at just over 550 EXP for Vibrava, and we are getting pretty close to level 43, I do believe. 
You can't see the EXP bar, and that's okay. Uh, let's do Crunch onto the Tropius, and we'll do a... We'll just do... I guess we'll do Muddy Water. I was having some issues last time, uh, where both Pokémon were avoiding the attack. Like, every single time it was in a, a doubles battle. So hopefully this will actually hit somebody. Okay, it did hit the Tropius. Okay, and it did hit Shroomish. Interesting. Because, like I said, it, like, literally, it was just like, Tropius avoided the attack. Shroomish avoided the attack. Alright, we'll both take damage here with the Razor Leaf. Oh, see, Swampert avoided the attack. That's what I'm talking about, but it, it seemed like there was a bug that, like, literally everything was missing uh, that, that attack there. This is actually probably gonna be pretty effective against us, yeah. So we need to knock this Shroomish out immediately. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch him, and we're also going to mud shot him. We're just gonna knock this thing out as quick as possible, that way Vibrava doesn't lose any more health. Okay, that's fine, which means our mud shot, or yeah, our mud shot might not hit. Oh no, okay, there is one more Pokemon. It is an Electric, and we will one and done this bad boy too. Because mud shot is a ground move, which is super effective against any electrical Pokemon, which Electric is. So we're just left with Atropius, and I believe one more Pokemon on the right side of the battle. Razor Leaf, again, we're both gonna take damage unless Swampert avoids and doesn't. Critical hit actually knocked down quite a bit of HP there. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna use our last Crunch, and we will go ahead and just use a Takedown. Crunch might be enough to get him, but I don't know. It is, all right, it is, I'm down. This should be level 43. No? No. Maybe it's after this Pokemon. I'm not sure. But this takedown should be a one and done as well. I'm hoping. It is. Perfect. Okay, so Swampert does take some recoil damage. Not a big deal. And 256. Okay, so there it was. Level 43. Fantastic. 85 EXP for Swampert. I'm not too worried about the EXP that's going around to the other Pokemon. Like I've said, it's kind of the quest for Flygon. We really need Flygon because Vibrava is not very powerful. It's an okay Pokemon, but really not all that powerful. So what we're trying to do is... Can I sneak past? Ooh, I can't. Uh, what we're trying to do is get the Flygon, and then we'll take the EXP off of him. One Carbos, fantastic. It's the best way to set up for the Elite Four. Go ahead and use all the proteins, Carbos, Iron, everything that you can to help your Pokemon. Because when you roll into the Elite Four, you want to have the strongest team possible. And I mean, even two more attack damage could be enough between a one-hit KO and the opponent having one HP and using a Hyper Potion. So, you, that's what you need. You know, you need to set up your team, you need to get them all ready, unless when you try to use it, it's like, you or the st this stat cannot be increased or something like that. Failed to use item. This stat cannot be increased or whatever, because, like, it's already at their highest possible. So, it's okay. We're gonna buy up as much as we can, because literally we have no money elsewhere. You know, we're not buying a ton of Pokeballs, we're not buying TMs, we're not buying any sort of stones. I mean, literally, we're just, we're just playing it out, you know? Alright, so 2,320 Pokebucks. Your Pokemon prowess is remarkable. Allow me to register you as a memento. See, that one I don't hate, because that's like a legitimate college vernacular. Like, he had a pretty good dialect going for him right there, uh, which is fantastic, because normally it's like, hey, that was great, let's do it again, at register, whatever, Youngster Todd. I don't care about Youngster Todd, but if this dude wants to use some pretty good college words for me, I'll add him, that's fine. I mean, obviously, I have no choice between adding Youngster Todd and whatever that gentleman's name was. Ooh, critical hit, that's unfortunate. Um, but at least, I can have some sort of decent dialect of one of them. Okay, ooh, got the flinch! That'll make up for the crit, bite, and you're out of here! Not very effective, but that's the only move I've got left besides feint attack, and feint attack is even worse than bite. Okay, so now we're actually getting kind of sketchy here. Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokémon? Uh, I guess so. Uh, but yeah, we're getting a little sketchy here in terms of Vibrava's health. This was not an issue last time, but that's okay, you know? Every time, something's different, and I am A-OK -okay with that. So we are going to... Yeah, we're just gonna bite it out. Try to bite this Pikachu... Pikachu... Pikachu all the way down. Ooh, got him to flinch! I don't know what a Pikachu is, but we're gonna, we're gonna knock it out. Whatever that Pokémon is, I'm gonna find it and knock it out. Alright, we're gonna hit it with another bite. 
Fantastic. Critical hit. We got pretty lucky. And I'm down. Thank you. 525 EXP. And I defeated Pokefan Vanessa. This isn't what I meant. And I got 2,400 Pokebucks for winning. Okay, so we've got one dude right here that we will battle. And this is actually where I left off at the end of last episode that you guys obviously couldn't see, which is the episode we're re-recording anyway. So I think what we're gonna do, as I'll stop it here, it'll be a little bit short. Last time it was like 14 minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. So I'll stop it a little bit short. That way I don't, I'd, I'd actually like recover the stuff that I lost and then we can pick up tomorrow with new stuff for the both of us. All right, so we've got a bite here, quick attack. Ooh, all right, so we took 14 damage. It's possible for us to take 15 on a high roll. And they're gonna use a hyper potion, so that's not very, that's not very nice for us. Okay, so we're actually gonna switch out here. Vibrava is paralyzed, so there's no damage there. And we're actually gonna switch to Gardevoir. We're gonna keep our own Manectric in our pocket, and Altaria is flying, and I don't want the type disadvantage to Manectric's electrical moves. So quick attack, Gardevoir can take it, no biggie. And uh, let's go ahead and use a Psychic. That should be all right. Psychic might be a one-shot kill, but I'm not quite sure. All right, it was, fantastic. And that's the difference between Gardevoir and Vibrava. Ooh, Vibrava still got 700 EXP, so that's fantastic. All right, so we've got a shift tree here, and let's go ahead and use it. Psychic, it doesn't affect shift tree. Is it dark? Is it a dark and grass Pokemon? I know it's grass. Weird. Let's go ahead and shift into Altaria. We haven't seen Altaria in a little while, so it's nice to always re-familiarize ourselves with our party just a little bit. Alright, shift tree, use Harden, that's fine. We've got Peck, which is going to be super effective against you. So go ahead and do that, Peck. And, ooh, only about a third of the HP. Probably from the Hardens that it did. Alright, so special attack Rose, so we might take a pretty bad beating here, Altaria. Super effective. Pound. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And let's go ahead and use Fly. That way the Shiftry can't touch me. And we don't have to worry about it at all. Bam. Just in case, because I wasn't sure if the Peck was going to do enough damage there, but Fly definitely will at a 95 power attack. I think it's 95 power. Or it might be 100 power, 95 accuracy. Anyways, Vibrava, 561 EXP. And then Gardevoir and Altaria got a 280 split. Cool trainer, Marcel has been defeated. Oh, now what happened here? I got 1,392 Pokebucks for winning, but like I said, we're gonna end off the episode here so I can make up for the lost footage. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.